Leave me, please. Leaked new female robot. Weekly Boston Dynamics News. It seems that Boston Dynamics never strays from its goals to bring the latest robot technology to the common market. So let's dive right into the latest advancements from the Boston Dynamics arena. Spot takes digital construction to next level. Spot, the agile mobile robot, was designed by Boston Dynamics, the global leader in mobile robotics, and is taking construction to the next level. The compact four-legged robot can map its environment, sense and avoid obstacles, climb stairs and open doors, acting as an autonomous remote inspection tool in a variety of environments, including power generation facilities, decommissioned nuclear sites, factory floors, construction sites and research laboratories. The investment in new technology was delivered as part of the government's leveling up funding program, which saw 17.5 million pounds invested in a new research center, the National Brownfield Institute at the university's 120 million pound Springfield campus, a former brewery and brownfield site which was recently regenerated. The partnership funding has allowed for investment in robotic technology as well as the latest wearable and handheld laser scanning devices used for high-quality reality capture of buildings and sites and an immersive visualization suite, Igloo Vision, providing businesses with access to equipment which stimulates collaboration, simulation and visualization. Paul Hampton, head of the School of Architecture and Build Environment at the University, said, Our overall investment in the construction super campus at Springfield, including the new School of Architecture and Built Environment, is designed to enable and introduce students to the rapidly emerging world of digital construction. Our aim is to use and apply digital tools to improve the process of delivering and operating the built environment. Tools like Spot will ensure that the delivery, operation and renewal of our built environment will be safer, more efficient and more collaborative. Spot – Faster Charging, New Payloads, 5G Boston Dynamics announced the latest upgrades for its popular quadruped robot Spot. The upgrades include faster charging times, more payloads and support for 5G connectivity. Boston Dynamics has added additional payloads to the quadruped to help it operate in more areas. The Spot Core I.O. is a high-efficiency computer payload that gives Spot the ability to process data in the field. With Core I.O., which uses the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX module, Spot can perform vision-based site inspections and continuous data collection. The Core I.O. also provides 5G network connectivity for the quadruped. The payload includes a built-in 5G modem for faster and more reliable network connections. Along with the upgrades, Boston Dynamics announced AT&T will be its first 5G provider. Boston Dynamics has also expanded Spot's connectivity capabilities with another payload. With the Ragent Kinetic Mesh Radio Kit, Spot can be quickly deployed in an isolated network with no infrastructure changes. The kit includes a Ragent ES1 breadcrumb radio payload that mounts onto Spot, as well as three standalone kinetic mesh radios. The kit offers coverage of up to 200,000 square feet. Along with Spot's connectivity upgrades, Boston Dynamics gave the robot hardware updates. The robot's five stereo cameras now provide full color imagery and existing depth information. While Spot doesn't need color images to understand what it's seeing, human operators will have an easier time making sense of the robot's environment. Spot goes skiing. The Boston Dynamics famed robot lovingly may not yet be capable of full-on skiing, but folks at the Medical and Health Technologies at MCI in Austria think they could make the perfect companions for people with impairments as well as for professional missions in the Alps. Can you imagine never having to carry your skis again because you have a dedicated robot dog that trails you wherever you go? We can't wait either. Spot smells airborne gas and chemical threats. When it first introduced the headless dog-like Spot robot on the market in 2020, Boston Dynamics must have known the machine would likely revolutionize some aspects of human activity. And once they've gotten past the initial dread caused by the thing's appearance, people seem to be rapidly embracing the idea of a do-it-all robot. The latest to join the Spot train is Teledyne FLIR Defense, which managed to fit its MUVE C360 multi-gas detector on the robot. When using this thing, the machine should be capable of remote monitoring of chemical threats in industrial and public safety applications. The sensor allows humans to detect and classify airborne gas or chemical hazards, and aside from it being suitable for spot, it can also be fitted on a variety of drones. 
By deploying a chemical detector on drones and ground robots, industrial managers can identify dangerous situations from a safe distance, keeping operators out of harm's way and speeding corrective measures. H&M, GAP, drive demand for Stretch. Boston Dynamics launched its second commercial robot, Stretch, a warehouse box-moving robot that is available for purchase recently. Stretch arrived in prototype form in March 2021, and after a year of on-the-job trials and more development, it was refined into a commercial product. The purpose of the bot is still the same. It's a box mover. Stretch is a warehouse worker that is meant to quickly take over unloading trucks, depalletizing boxes, and building orders without any need to build additional infrastructure. Box moving arms are nothing new, but they are usually stationary, which means you have to bolt them to the floor in a specific spot and design your warehouse around the robot location. Stretch is mounted on a big wheeled base, so it has more human-like flexibility in what it can do throughout the day. You can have Stretch drive right into a truck and do some box unloading in the morning, and then move on to the order building later in the afternoon. The base is the same size as a pallet, so it can go just about anywhere in a warehouse. Customers so far include DHL, Gap, H&M, and the logistics company Performance Team. DHL placed a $15 million multi-year order that was announced in January. That deal apparently came with a sweet new paint job, and DHL will now have branded yellow robots running around the warehouse. Humans love robots more than animals. A robotics expert has argued that humans have more empathy and love for robots than they do animals, and that includes vacuums. The International Federation of Robotics expects to sell over 68 million robots for professional, personal, and domestic services this year. In other words, robots are coming. The question we're faced with today is whether we love robots more than we love animals. Well, while it may seem absurd or even insulting to compare lifeless machines to living creatures, she thinks there's something to be learned from the striking parallels in how Western society has handled them both. When an engineer from robotics company Boston Dynamics kicked a biologically inspired four-legged robot in a 2015 video, so many people had a visceral negative reaction to the footage that it went viral. But we see emotion even with more primitive robots. Over 80% of Roomba robot vacuum cleaners have names. Some people will even send them in for repair and turn down the offer of a brand new replacement, requesting that Meryl Sweep be returned. Soldiers have reportedly risked their lives to save the robots they work with, and Buddhist temples in Japan hold funerals for robot pets when they've broken beyond repair. We may be at an important point in time, as our budding relationship with robots could actually help the animal welfare cause. When people prefer, and they will, an unfeeling mechanical device like a pet robot dinosaur to a living, breathing, slimy slug, this juxtaposition makes it harder for any of us to ignore how we instinctually treat non-humans, whether they are alive or not. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.